Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Toxic Health. Now, we're here today to look into plant growth defects. And this is my living room and this particular area I have identified as a plant growth defect zone. And pretty much any plant that I put into this zone grows deformed after an extended time period in the zone. Now you may recognize this zone from an earlier movie that I did about my digital television. Now my digital television is filling the house with radio waves so I stopped using it after I realized that it was completely filling the house with radio waves. And the reason why it does that is it produces radiation which is known as interference radiation. And that's probably because my house has a lot of metalwork in the wall because I have a stucco home. Now stucco homes use chicken wire in their walls. Uh, it provides a very good reflector for radio and microwaves. So I figured out that that TV was producing radio waves and I took it out of service. But the strange thing is I noticed that the plants kept on deforming in this area. They have me mystified for a while. I'm going to show you what's going on in this area as to why the plants deform. And you may recognize this plant, or you probably won't, because it's completely different to what it was the last time I showed you it. This plant, this is the last of its remaining leaves. As you can see, all the new leaves are all deformed and glossy and shrunken. And it's actually this plant the same variety. This is what the leaves are supposed to look like. As you can see, it's very, very clearly different. And this was the uh, plant that I showed you when I showed you my digital TV filling the house with radio waves. This was quite happily growing in my front bedroom and only deformed when it came into this location. So, what we're going to do, um, we're going to read the fields that are in this area understand them and then I'm going to show you where they are coming from. Uh, I think you're going to be quite surprised as to why these plants are being affected. And uh, this one here, you can actually see the old growth. It's a very dark green leaf. All the new growth that's come up in this area is much lighter green. But also, some of the leaves are actually deformed and the coloration is all off in some of the leaves. And this one here is showing brown tipping and also shrunken leaf growth as opposed to the big leaves that it originally had. And you can see on this one it's, it's showing brown tipping. So brown tipping is a symptom of an incorrect radiation environment. And this one over here has yet to deform. It's Pretty much as it was when I brought it into the house about a month ago. It's actually a control plant that I have in this area. And uh, if it stays in this area, it will probably end up looking like this one. So to measure these fields, we're going to use a AM radio and we're going to use a tri-field meter. And we're going to start off with the AM radio. Now the AM radio is actually tuned into static on the 5.30 AM band. It doesn't really matter where you're tuned into as long as there's no radio station there and it's relatively quiet. So let's turn on the radio. So as you can see it's, it's very very quiet in my living room until we come over here As we can see, there's radio waves in that corner. They are wide band radio waves. So let's switch over to the tri field. And we're going to start off on the magnetic range 
0 to 100. Let's see what we can find in the corner. It's very, very interesting. It's a very high magnetic field. Now, 2 milligauss is what most people say is the recommended maximum constant field for human health. As we can see, we have much higher fields in this location. And particularly in this deformed plant location, we're getting very high fields. In fact, this field is almost 35 milligauss in this location where this plant is deformed. We go near the wall, we actually exceed 100 milligauss. Now this plant has got the brown tips. We can see that we're approaching 35. Right at the wall, we're at 100. So let's switch over to electric field. Let's see what we can find. So we've got very high electrical fields in this area. And the last setting is going to be our radio setting. So we can see that even though we picked up radio waves using the radio, the tri-field doesn't detect them. That's something to be careful of when you're using a tri-field is to be aware that the AM radio is actually a much better detector. So what's causing all this? I think you're going to be surprised, and this is something I want to get over to you, is that it all looks very harmless on this side of the wall. Let's go and see what's on the other side. So here's the other side of the wall. This is where all my bedroom electronics are located. And uh, I'm going to show you the fields that are around this electronics. So we've actually gone off the scale. We're actually on magnetic 0 to 100 milligauss. As you can see, the TV is putting out huge magnetic fields. And they're very high. So these fields are actually extending through the wall and are affecting the plants and they're actually deforming the plant growth and they actually extend for quite some ways out from the television so to actually get back to a normal level of magnetic field we have to get 10 feet away from the television as we approach the television we see that the fields go huge so again stepping back we're about 10 feet away right now if we go forward, we can see the meter climb up. And it's very interesting because all the research is saying anything above 2 milligauss is cancerous. It's a cancer risk. And these fields are actually higher than what you would find under power lines, believe it or not. So it's rather concerning that people have these fields in their bedrooms and their homes, and it's coming from their home electronics. So let's switch over to the electric field. So we can see, even out here, we have to move way back to get out of the electric field. And we're off the scale. I can actually feel it. So, uh, 
But I do have a very low electromagnetic radiation exposure right now. I detoxed from this several months ago. So the, the thing you'll notice is these fields are quite patchy. So it's very high at the wall, then it drops down, and then it increases. And that kind of matches some of the growth I've seen on the plants because some of the plants, in some areas, they seem to be growing normal, and then in other parts of the plant, they're showing very deformed growth. So let's do a final check on the radio. So you see on the radio it hardly moves, but I have already tested this TV with the AM radio and uh, it has very large fields around it on the AM radio setting. So there you have it. These televisions and these home electronic items that you purchase and fill your house with actually produce some very, very strange electromagnetic fields to the point where you probably wouldn't want to be in them for any extended period of time. And it's very important with children that you do not allow them to spend extended periods of time around these devices because the cells are growing and you may see some very strange growth in your children that kind of mimics what's going on in these plants and uh, as you can see some plants are very very sensitive to this growth and this is called a dumb cane plant and you can buy it in any gardening center it's a very popular house plant it's very cheap they're just a few dollars each and they are actually like the canary in the cage that coal miners use, but th these are very sensitive to electromagnetic fields and they show what's going on by deformities in their growth. So, there you have it. The mystery of my plant growth defects is pretty much solved and uh, I hope that you find this presentation useful and I wish you the very best of health. I hope you enjoyed the presentation. Thank you.